Hey guys, Kasim here, back with another video. And today what we're gonna be talking about is the most underrated client acquisition method, in my opinion, that is very rarely talked about. Um, and it's not too time intensive and it's pretty easy on the wallet, very minimal to any really money is needed. You can potentially do this for free basically, but if you have to pay 10, 15 bucks, it's, it's a small investment. So what I'm talking about are BNIs or meetups. So first meetups, this does involve fair warning before I get started into this. It does involve actually getting out of the house. So I know uh, why it's most underrated is because you actually have to leave the house for this and you have to meet people face to face and do networking. So that's why it's a little bit underrated in the, in the sense that it's not as scalable but I'll get into how it actually technically or indirectly can be scalable. So first off, to talk about, let's go over meetups and BNIs, and then we'll discuss at the end. But meetups are, so it's meetup.com, or there's also the meetup app. And basically what it is, is you can, there are specific meetups every week or whatever it may be. There's, they have meetups set up in your city, pretty much. I mean, unless you live in some rural town, There'll be meetups specifically. There's like meetups for marketers. They can be business owner meetups and it's just to network with other business owners or marketers in our case. That's a great tool to use. Like if you, they have a business owner meetup, you can go over there and you can talk to potentially lawyers and potentially, uh, you know, roofers, whatever it may be. You can talk to all of those people and you can also go to a meetup that may be for marketers and just talk and network with other marketers as well. So there's a lot of options there get the app, I would really highly suggest getting the app and checking out what meetups are nearby you and when they are. Usually they're at like bars or some sort of like, maybe at a hotel room, usually they're at like a bar, you just pay 10 bucks to, to eat or something, but really simple. And you can also create your own meetup. Creating your own meetup works as well. Um, work, probably works better in a bigger city, but can be done, especially if you know people around you and you have a decent network already, you can create your own and, and you can have success with that as well. And maybe teach a class to business owners and then pitch to them in the end. So there's plenty of options there, but let's move to BNIs. So BNI is Business Network International and they're just a business networking group. So basically what it is, is you just, uh, they have members and they have chapters. They have members in their chapters and members pay $500 a year membership fee there may be some other fees aside from that, but that's the main one. You do get a chance to visit a chapter for free once, maybe could be twice. I'm not sure, I don't recall, but it's at least once that you can visit a chapter and you have a free visit to that chapter just to see if it's for you. Maybe if you have a spot, if there's a spot for you, then you give it a go. You know, even in that free visit, you can capitalize on that and potentially land some clients, if not just get your business card out there, right? And then there's also only one member from each industry allowed per chapter. So that's huge. If you get into a chapter, there's no marketer available. Like there's no marketer in that chapter already. If that slot is vacant, then you have a ton of business to potentially capitalize on because there's gonna be lawyer, there's gonna be a lawyer, there's gonna be a roofer, there's gonna be plumber, there's gonna be all those industries that us SEOs just love, they're all going to be in there and you can potentially work with all of them and some people in their network outside of the BNI group. So there's tons of potential there. And even if there is a marketer, you could, you could uh, even go in as a, like a web designer or something. So there's a couple options there, but basically what I would suggest my advice when going to BNIs and meetups, have a professionally designed business card. You can use Vistaprint for that. There's a couple other ones you can use, but Vistaprint's fine and pretty affordable as well. And the main key to meetups and BNIs is you want to talk to a bunch of people. So you talk to people, don't don't do too much chit chat, just like get to the point with people, you know, talk to them about their business. Have a little 30 second elevator pitch for yourself to like if someone asks you, hey, what do you do? You can say, hey, I, I rank people's websites. No, that's not a good, that's not a good one because they're gonna be like, wait, what do you mean rank websites? Well, you, you can say something, make it simple and to the point to where if they're saying, hey, what do you do? You say, well, I, what I do is rent digital real estate to people. And they're like, whoa, what's that? That's intriguing. 
what what is that? And you can kind of go once you have them hooked, then you go into it and talk a little bit more on that. Um, but don't be too jargon. Don't use too much jargon for like marketer jargon and all that stuff. Keep it simple with with business owners. Um, it's the same principles like when you're talking to them on the phone. You don't want to go too much into detail on what exactly the service entails technic in terms of technicalities, just in terms of the benefits. So that's it uh, for the video guys. Give it a try, give Meetups a try, give BNI a try. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions on networking at all, just comment below or in the Facebook group and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, make sure to leave a like on the, on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.